What's going on fellas, it's your boy Halbin and upon the request of many of you guys on this video, I'm going to go over the giveaway flow for restaurants and how to make it from scratch. That way you understand everything that's involved with it so that in case anything happens, you can troubleshoot it yourself. So first, before I actually take you into how to build the flow and everything that goes into it, I want to actually show you the ad and explain you why it actually worked. So. Um, let's go over to the Facebook page right here. I already had it pulled up for you guys right here You can see the ad copy. This was done back in February from last year and you can see the creative for this ad So let's just read it for a second. So attention Rhode Island. You want to win free meals for two months So that first and second line are the most important ones you want to know why the first reason is because if this doesn't if this line doesn't show i want to catch your attention so if you're in this state which i would make sure that you are in this state if for this ad to show up to you then you're gonna say like hmm right then with together in conjunction with that headline there is this over here win free food for two months so if you are going down your news feed uh, on facebook and you see attention rhode island right if you're actually in that state or attention state whatever you're from and you see win free food for two months from a restaurant that, that sells the type of food that you actually like even if you don't see the rest right here you're gonna be right there, it's just gonna catch your attention because of the perceived value that you get from this post. So that's one of the biggest things from um, these offers that you actually have to offer something that's valuable. Because for example, if I was to offer something like free water bottle, I highly doubt that I would get over 152 likes, 113 comments and 82 shares for this for this post and obviously it doesn't have to be free full meals for two months it could be free appetizers it can be free desserts or it can be um free drinks if you guys have any famous drinks that people love from your restaurant because that's the thing this offer worked because people see the value of it and because people that like this type of food actually would love that because otherwise as i said if i would offer the water bottle or something that doesn't have a high perceived value then people wouldn't really have paid attention to that and we would have seen the results on the comments um shares and, and likes to make this clear obviously for other niches i don't really focus too much on the likes and shares because that doesn't actually pay the bills for the other niches that i work with especially for auto dealership but for this type of offer that is really really important the engagement i mean it's a restaurant so whether you're just doing this or you're also doing this together with um let's say some pictures regular pictures on instagram and on, on facebook as well you want to make sure that people are actually um, um, seeing the post people are actually seeing the pictures and that they're engaging with it so that you know that the creative is is right so that your pictures look appetizing enough and the people are commenting and tagging their friends telling them that they should go to eat at this restaurant but anyways going back to this post you want to make sure that you have a really really good offer that would catch people's attention don't be cheap with it because you can actually kind of tweak it so that it won't be as expensive as you think on the side of your restaurant clients. All you have to do to participate is share this post and comment down below your favorite Spanish breakfast and lunch um, before you guys kill me. I know, I know, I should have put Hispanic, not Spanish. I actually had somebody comment in the other video, oh, I, please tell me that you're not saying Hispanic, Spanish um, for Hispanic. Like, what the fuck, really? <laughs> anyways so and we will send you a message to confirm your entry the winner will be selected on march 5th and that was from back then so it was a month actually uh well almost close to a month share and comment down below your favorite spanish launch you just want to repeat the call to action so that way it is clear for them and then you have a a little um message over here side message it is important that you respond to the message we send you confirming your entry in order for your participation to be valid the reason why i put this in here is because in order for them so the way that this works is that they will comment here their favorite meal or whatever as soon as they comment the flow is going to trigger and they're going to have to reply with a tweet for them to be subscribed to the flow and to our mini chat account 
So if they don't reply to that flow, then they won't be subscribed. And I'm going to show you in a little bit. So that way, you know what I'm talking about. So that is really, really important. You want to emphasize that they want to respond to the first message that you send them in order for them to participate because otherwise they won't get the actual flow. The image itself, I made it using Canva, so you don't have to pay an expensive um, designer. You can literally do it yourself. I did this myself within like 10, 15 minutes because I was actually redesigning it, putting thought, I actually put thought into it, the the font and so forth and so on. But you can definitely do this yourself. Don't Don't pay somebody um, to do this if you actually have the time to do it. So the next thing we have to do is we have to go to many chat. After we're in many chat, the first thing that you guys want to do is go to automation, right? Actually, no, not automation. You will, yes, automation sequences and then create new sequence. Well, I guess, um, I ran out of, I, I reached the limit of sequences for this free account. So let me erase an example sequence All right let's see burger sequence that came up with it um, so we want to create a new sequence and you can name it whatever you want so for the sake of this video I'm gonna name it coupon YouTube creates and you're just gonna leave it alone or okay tap the alright then you're just gonna leave it alone and then go back to flow when you're in flows you're gonna create a new flow so from here you can name it whatever you want use a name that you can that you remember to distinguish it if you have many different flows so i usually name it the name of a campaign so free food giveaway create and so you guys know the reason why i create my flows from the actual flow sections of many chat is because it is a lot easier to share with another page and also to duplicate it rather if you do it through um, the growth tools which a lot of people do that by mistake they start creating growth growth tools instead of going to the flow section of it they do it through the growth tools and when they want to share this flow then they start having issues with it so make sure that you do everything all the flows all the new flows um, through the flows section of many chat so when once you're here we can proceed forward so the first thing we want to do is that we want to create an action right and within this action we are going to be adding a tag to our users so for this we can put in let's say free food free food giveaway and it will all it will all make sense to you guys right at the end so let's see. Oh, I have limits of tags. So let me go fix this and I'll be right back. Great, we're back. So make sure for this not to happen to you that you actually have a pro account for your um, clients' mini chat, right? So on this part, we want to put in a tag. We want to, to tag everybody that actually goes through the flow for the flow to work properly. So free food, food, giveaway new tag boom there we go so in order for this to get connected with the starting step in order for this to be the starting step then you have to um, click on that little dot and then bring it over to the action and the action connect it to the message so another thing you also want to add in the first action is that you want to subscribe the people um, to the sequence so over here is going to pop up all the sequences that you have you can just choose the right one and for this the sake of this video I'm going to choose coupon YouTube from here you want to actually type the first message that they will send after they sub they confirm their subscription now, obviously I already have it over here since I already did this before so I'm just going to copy it and paste it so great you've entered to win free food for two months then you can apply terms of service so if you apply you win one free meal a week for two months that way your client your the restaurant owner is not going to have a heart attack when you propose the idea to them you can say that you guys can add terms of services where um you guys can state that it's not going to be every single day that you guys can do it on select hours during select days and that those days can be the days that 
um, the restaurant is the most slow, right? So you can you want to include the terms of service right there. So for this one, I put if you win, you'll win one free meal a week for two months. The offer starts as soon as the winner is announced. So I actually like to um, create these type of offers at the beginning of the month so I can actually give it a full month. And then from there, when we choose the the winner, then it's it's a lot easier for the whole process. So the offer starts as soon as the winner is announced, and then the winner will be announced on the date that you guys want to announce the winner on the Facebook page. From there, you guys will add another message, and this is the money maker. This is how your client is going to be making money with this message that I'm going to input in a second. This is how your client is going to um, make money um, while you guys run offers like this. So I'm just paste it. Thank you for entering, and I said thank you. Here is a 10% off. Obviously, it doesn't have to be 10% off. It could be more. It could be less, depending on what your client is comfortable with. So 10% off, or you can put in free appetite, uh, free appetizer, and your next visit, or your free drink of choice in your next visit, or if you, they have a real um, good dessert, you can also put it in there just um, to get people in, right? Another side note is that you don't want this offer to be so big that clients are only going to be coming for that offer. For example, if I was to just offer a free lobster as a thank you, then people just solely come in for the free lobster and not to buy anything else, right? So you want to offer something that they can use when they come in to purchase something else as a coupon would do, as a dessert would do, as an appetizer would do, and so forth and so on. So the other thing that I like to do is you're going to put in the button and instead of using this one, I like to use this one because after this one is used, then it goes away. People with this button, right? When people click on this button, it doesn't go away and they can go back and tap on that button and it's just a whole mess inside of Messenger. So you can put in here, redeem now. So from here, you guys are going to put in a condition right and then you want to put in an action that we're not going to use right now but we will need it for the condition right so we want to put in free food offer redeem and the and the action so you go back to the condition and you put in tag is free food i mean free offer redeem right so you're going to connect it together and after you connect it, you're going to add in another message. So I'm just going to paste this since I already have it here. So do you really want to redeem this offer? This must done at the restaurant at the time of payment. This cannot be undone. If this was an accident, do not click this. Keep this message for when you come to the restaurant. So as I said, again, we have to add another button. And instead of using this one, we are going to use the quick reply because they can go back to retap on it. So quick reply, reply, redeem now or redeem offer. So that's done. Then you're going to see that the condition has two buttons. There's a blue type button and there's the red one. You're going to tap on the red button right here and then you're going to connect it with the new message. So the action you're going to bring it down and then you're going to connect it with the redeem offer that way when people come when people come to the flow and they tap on the, the redeem offer they get tagged in with the free offer redeem so let's just go back to it so you guys can understand a little bit how is this working so far so they're going to comment down the picture that you post then they're going to have to reply to confirm their entry after they reply to confirm their entry they're going to get this message right here well, they're going to get tagged right here. So free food giveaway tag. And then they're going to get subscribed to a sequence coupon on um, YouTube, right? Then they're going to get this message right here. Great. You enter win free food for two months um, and yada, yada, yada. And then they're going to have this button redeem now. I mean, redeem offer. So they're going to tap on that offer and then a condition is going to run. So the tag is free, uh, free food offer redeem. So since supposing that it is the first time they're going to go straight to this message otherwise we want to send them another message saying that unfortunately it seems unfortunately 
unfortunately it seems like you have already redeemed this offer before already or the time has passed please stay tuned for our future offers or for our future giveaways Redeem. no I'm running it wrong Deem. there we go so when they click redeem now and they already gone through this flow right and they already got tagged with this free food offer redeem right then it's going to send them to this message and that's how you get people to not redeem the offer twice so after that you want to add in another message where the waiter or waitress is going to actually input how much their, their bill was so it can get connected with the google account and that you guys actually know how much money they made from that campaign so you tap on it you um exit out of this one and then you're gonna put in an user input uh um field so i already have it copied so i'm gonna paste this so how much was your check please enter a whole number no decimals round to the nearest dollar and only the waitress and waiter can, can perform perform this action so you guys have to actually get in touch with the owner and say hey we need the cooperation of the people that are going to be working in here because if people come in with this offer the waitress or the waiter or whoever it is that's cashing them out has to input how much their bill was so we can get a more exact number of how much we're making with this campaign and how much you're making with my services okay so on free keyboard inputs you're going to the reply type is going to be um number and you want to create a you want to save response to a custom field which you're going to create i already had one right here build total and you can literally easily um create one by just typing in a new name right but i'm just going to use the one that i already have since i already just had it there so that's very important make sure that the type is number and that you name you name it accordingly so that you know which one is which so when you create many different campaigns you don't get lost so perform actions we're gonna tap on it which is gonna create another action and then with this one is that we're going to connect it with the google sheets right and then also we're going to notify the admins so that we so that we can go back and check and make sure that everything is running correctly now that's optional you don't have to notify the admins that you select but the one that you will need is the Google Sheet action. And for this one, I'm gonna make a separate video on how to connect Google Sheet and how to make everything sum and rest um, so that you know the exact numbers. Then you want to add in another message and this one will be a normal message. And then here you want to type in, thank you for coming, stay tuned, Stay tuned for more VIP offers or you can give it a branding name. Now this reply is only going to trigger after the user, after we get a reply from the user. So um, just to kind of add some other stuff in here to make it more as if it's like a person texting back. I like to always add the typing option so that they feel like somebody's actually typing it so that they're more comfortable continuing going forward with the um, giveaway flow. Another thing that you guys have to do is that you guys want to, in actions, put an unsubscribe, not from bots, sorry about this. So an action, unsubscribe from sequence, and then you're going to tap in the sequence that you put in the beginning because if you don't uh if they already subscribe to the sequence and they already redeem the offer then they don't need to be on that sequence anymore because the point of the sequence is to follow up with the with the people that hasn't came in yet and to make them come in and and notify them that time is running out so now we're actually done with our flow so let's just go back to review a little bit and to make sure that everything is fine so the starting step the trigger is going to be the comment and we're going to add it in the growth in the growth tools then we have the action 
they have a tag free food giveaway then we're going to subscribe into the sequence coupon youtube in case that they can't come into the restaurant right away we can follow up with them automatically without us having to do anything right after that they get this message <clears throat> Great, you've entered when free food for two months. Terms make sure that the terms go accordingly with um, what you spoke with the owner, and then you can say the off the offer um, starts as soon as the winner is announced, and you put in the date that the offer will the that the winner will be announced. Then thank you for entering. As a thank you, here is a 10% off. So right here. I see we have a little issue because usually you want to add an image and I actually had it pulled up over here of the discount for it to feel more real for it to feel more realistic and not just that you're that you're just blobbing in there and you're saying oh yeah just come in and we'll give you 10% off so you want to actually put in an image and if you put in an image then you can't um, use this button right here so i guess we're gonna have to go back to our old ways so we can leave the other things as they are and then also we have to add another little message very important message that i forgot to add in here so for the coupon i already had it pulled up over here i mean, didn't on canvas you don't have to pay anybody to do this this is very simple don't overthink it don't overcomplicate it um for yourself because this is very very simple to make so i'm just gonna download it i think so yeah, download it, wait for it to download. Then I'm going to put in the image, go to my downloads, and then I'm just gonna drag it and boom, right there. So then you want to add another text to allow them to use the other button, right? So click redeem only once your bill is ready. So if you had any, if you have any other terms of services like, oh, the owner doesn't want it um, to apply to alcoholic drinks, then you make it sure that you um, tell the people right here, right? So redeem now. Done. This is very easy to get rid of. Delete. And then from here, you can just connect it again with the conditions so let's just review it again to make sure that we're not missing anything so great you've entered win free food for two months put in the terms the offer starts as soon as the winner is announced obviously so you don't even need to put in that but for you to be safe on the on the safer side because some people can be annoying you can just leave it there the winner will be announced on on the date that you guys agree with your clients and then there's the other message right here um thank you for entering as a thank you here's the 10 percent off you will need to show this to the service when you're paying the offer may be redeemed once per customer this coupon may not include any other offers dining only and it doesn't really mean that you can use this for like deliveries and stuff like that you just have to talk to your client to make sure that he's okay with it and then that you make sure that you put in that the offer must be redeemed within 15 days from the date that you get this message because otherwise right you want to you want to get them to come in within a week or two right you don't want to just send them an offer and then come a year from now oh yeah you guys sent me this 10% off um, coupon through messenger a year ago and you guys didn't put that it um, expires within like 10 or 15 days so I can still use it right like customers can be that you know that annoying they can be that petty Right. And, and also, I mean, I don't even blame him for that, because if you didn't even mention an expiration date, then, you know, they have the right to um, to ask for what you guys offer them. So make sure that you guys actually put in an expiration date or um, an expiration time. So we will send it to you. You have five, 10 or, or 15 days to um, come in and take care of it. Otherwise, it's it's done. Right. So they click on redeem now, then the condition goes through. So, okay, the bot is asking, is this user, is this user already tagged with free food um, offer redeem, which is our tag? So if yes, they're gonna get sent this message. Unfortunately, it seems like you already have redeemed this offer already or the time has passed. Please stay tuned for our future giveaways. And if not, which is what we want to, Hey, do you really want to redeem this offer? This must be done at the restaurant at the time of payment. This cannot be undone. So you want to emphasize that 
and if this was an accident do not click this keep this message for when you come to a restaurant so after they're sure they want to redeem that because you already told them that they can't do it again then redeem offer they get tagged with the free food offer um redeem tag and then from there the waitress or waiter can input how much money um the bill was so that you guys know um how much money you guys are actually making from that um campaign then after that they're gonna get sent another message thank you for coming stay tuned for more vip offers and then simultaneously is gonna unsubscribe them from the coupon sequence that we have the follow-up sequence that we have and then also um as i said in the other video i'm going to show you how to do it also it's going to put in that number that um cost of how much money they spent onto a google sheet so that you guys know how much money in total you guys made from that specific campaign so let me just show you the sequence that i use for this campaign and actually i'm going to be leaving a link down below where you guys are going to be able to download this sequence 100 percent for free all you guys are going to have to do is just tap on the link down below right tap on the link down below that's going to bring you to my messenger bot it's going to subscribe you to my messenger bot and then from there you just have to follow the steps and i'm going to be giving it to you for free now let me just say this if you guys send me a message on my personal facebook page telling me to give you the coupon sequence i won't reply so make sure that you follow the direct the directions and you actually tap in the link that i'm going to be leaving you guys down below so here is the sequence i'm going to be going to the one that i actually use so here's the first one um i scheduled one five days right after right and i put it in at any time and any day obviously you can play around with it you can put in you can send it between um some times you can send it between let's say in the morning to 7 p.m and you can send it let's say between monday and friday or monday and saturday depending what you want to do but for this one it doesn't even let me do it because the account isn't free again so um we're not even gonna mess with that so the first one is a reminder and a feedback so i send it five days um five days after they have gone through our flows it says hey first name so it's say hey don halbin just have a question about the coupon we sent you do you have a chance to use it yet so we have two buttons yes i did i did and not yet if they tap on not yet then they're gonna get sent this message remember you only have 10 days left before your coupon expires before it does come and try exquisite caribbean food desserts tastiest drinks including the mama juan itself and mama juan is actually uh, a famous drink from the dominican republic so when are you thinking about coming select the date and time so with that we have an idea on when to expect you around from there people are going to have the option to select a date that doesn't mean that they're creating a reservation it's just letting you know okay we're thinking about going this day so that's optional but i just wanted to do it to fill in a, a, a space and and to to kind of um have a more meaningful message so from there it notifies the admin and then you can actually put in another message um where it says thank you or or we hope to see you soon and if they tap on yes i did they're gonna get sent this message great so what do you think please share your experience just a couple of words so we can make it even better for the next time we're gonna have a free keyboard um input and that is actually with the um user input and then from here we can notify an admin so the admin can go and check the conversation after we have put another action um, marking the com conversation is open so every single time you put in an action of marking a conversation is open it's going to put it on the live chat for many chat then let's just go back so the next one i send it after 15 days so we can add a tag to it so we can add the other tag to it so in case if they see the ad again if they comment again then they won't be able to get the coupon so let's just go into so you guys know what i'm talking about so right here you see it says so starting step the action the tag is vip offer redeem so everybody who has that tag anybody who has that tag can continue um to put in how much was their bill or to actually being able to redeem the offer because they are already tagged with that that specific tag that we have right here so we add that tag to them and we say 
Hello, first name. We're hoping that you're doing well. This should this is just a reminder that this gun is not longer available since it's been past 15 days. Just stay on the look for other promotions um, that we will be running in the near future. So let me just go back to the to the flow real quick. So just keep in mind it says attack VIP offer redeem, and the other one is free food redeem or something like that. So let me just go back so you guys can understand it real quick. Let's see. Um, flows free food giveaway flow so for this flow it would actually be the free food offer redeem right so as the starting step we add that tag to them and that way when they come to the flow they will be stuck right here because after they try to redeem the offer again after they try to after they try to tap on redeem now then the system is going to go tag. Is the tag free food offer redeem? And if yes, which it will be, if they go through it again, unfortunately, it seems like you already have redeemed this offer or time has passed. So please stay tuned for future giveaways. Now, guys, one thing that I literally just found out right now is that ManyChat secretly rolled out this new feature that allows you to do the comment growth tool different. So before, let me just show you, this is how we was gonna do it, but since they did it, since they rolled out this new feature and they're gonna get rid of the old one, then we have to do it this new way. So before, we would create a new growth tool, which we have it right here, and we would put, just show you, we would put Facebook comments. So it says, you see, this comment trigger will be removed soon because it is replaced with the Facebook comments 2.0. So let's just go back. We go back. So it would be like this. Um, then if you created one and you would have to, you know, select the whole post from here, select the post. And um, the big change is that instead of having to put a block where people would actually have to reply um, to the message in order to be subscribed in order to get the rest of the flow then now you can actually put that block within the flow itself so you don't even have to do this anymore right you don't even have to do this anymore what you would do which i already did for you guys is that you would let me just redo it again so you guys know how to do it from scratch so this was connected to this and it didn't have the facebook comments 2.0 so i just literally added a new message block i copied and pasted this from the old uh flow right and then i added a new button so now it's even easier because people don't actually have to type anything they just have to tap on the button so enter giveaway and then this over here on the content type you're gonna select comment reply so that they're able to get the rest of the flow so make sure you do that that's very very important and then we're gonna um, erase actually we're just gonna tap here and then connect it with the new message block and then the button we're gonna connect it with the action okay the button we're gonna connect it with the action and then this first message right here is the one they're gonna get after they tap on that button so here I usually put a count update so that Facebook actually sends in this message because with the new rules it's every, everything is more complicated you only have 24 hours to follow up with them again 24 hours from the last contact so going back so go to startup step and then you're just gonna add a new trigger and then from here this is where you're gonna tap on Facebook comments 2.0 so it's going to create a, grow, a new growth tool automatically and then for this you obviously have to have a pro account so you're going to select a specific post because obviously it's a giveaway it's a giveaway post so you're going to select the post um it's going to allow you to select published post schedule post promotable post or custom post and the custom post is if you don't if you don't have the post yet and you can enter the id of the post and you can select it or if the post is old like it happened to me so i had to grab the id of the post and then insert it here and then select it so you're gonna do that i already have it done let me just erase this one we're actually see exit out of this one let me just select starting step and then you're gonna 
select this option which is track first level comments only and that means that it's only going to send the message to people that comment on the post not people that reply to comments so I always have this one on track first level comments only enable it so please select the post so you have to select the post then you enable it after you after you select the post enable it and then you click on save after you tap on save you're going to publish the post and then you're ready to start sending people to the post itself so people can comment like it, and share it and you can make your restaurant client money so thank you guys for watching i really appreciate all of you guys that stuck to the end of this video remember to subscribe to this channel if you guys actually want to get more content like this i'm going to be putting out a birthday offer flow very very soon and then on the next video i'm going to show you how to connect the mini chat account to the google sheet account so that way you can show your client the return on investment for the campaigns that you rent for them on google sheet automatically so thank you guys for watching and like this video and I'll see you on the next video.